Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig, and welcome back to another edition of Cowboy Boot News. I got a question before we kick this whole thing off. Do you think that someone would be able to recognize your cowboy boots as being yours just by looking at a picture of them? Let me know down in the comments, because this is actually happening right now except it's a much more serious situation than just losing some boots. See, police in Essex found a skeleton, and the only thing with that skeleton was cowboy boots. So they released pictures of the cowboy boots on Twitter, hoping that someone recognizes them so that they know who this man was and they have a lead into why he died. So the BBC reported last week that an Essex mystery scrapyard skeleton was wearing cowboy boots. That title is really creepy. <laughs> but they go on to say that an unidentified human skeleton discovered at a former scrapyard was wearing a pair of distinctive cowboy boots police have revealed. So the Essex police found this body in April and they must have been so desperate for leads because it took them until last week in August to release pictures of the cowboy boots hoping that someone would recognize them. So it says they are releasing images of cowboy boots to assist an ongoing investigation in hopes to identify this man and of course these are cowboy boots. I mean you got the tall shaft there, you got a little bit of scallop, you got a harness on this boot and as you can see the heel is missing you got the toe stitching it's a medium round toe i gotta say that this is definitely a harness cowboy boot a lot of times harness boots are owned by folks who ride motorcycles the bbc article also said that the skeleton found belonged to a man probably over 55 years old and he had dentures so grandpa was a badass i'm just saying that right now he had these harness boots he was probably riding a motorcycle he was probably on a harley like that man was a badass do you know who these boots belong to because if you do you should contact essex police right now it's also in the uk right it's in essex so there aren't that many cowboy boot wearers, it's not that popular of a thing. So it's very possible that the Essex police find out who these cowboy boots belong to, giving them a lead into who that man was. Do you think that someone would be able to identify you just based off of your cowboy boots? Me, uh, you know, it depends on the pair that I'm wearing that day. If I was wearing these boulets right here, you know somebody would be able to say, oh, that's Jeremiah's skeleton right there, no doubt. With those boulets, I just know those cracks any time of day. That's definitely Jeremiah's boulet boot. So I think if I was wearing these ones, then someone would be able to identify me, but if I was out doing an extended test on a new Hondo boot or a Stetson boot or something like that, and I just disappeared and wasn't found till 10 years later. I mean, that would kind of be a coincidence because videos would eventually stop being published. So it'd be like, oh, maybe this was right. But still, if I wasn't doing these videos all the time, I gotta say that probably people wouldn't know who I was. So did this man wear a new pair of cowboy boots when he disappeared, when he died? If he did, then this is a real mystery that is gonna be even harder to solve. I gotta say that he probably was wearing his go-to boots. And at the end of the day, this man died with his boots on and you gotta respect that, even if we never figure out who he is. Let me know what you think of this whole mystery down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you guys next time. Peace. You got a better chance of ID from the boots than the bones Where they romped and stomped and called their home
So if you know anything, don't leave this man alone. Contact Essex Police by tweet, email, or phone. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching today. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.